How do you think the subjects of liberal arts and humanities taught in schools would be beneficial to scientists and researchers when developing AI technologies? To look at uh, human evolution, we started with inventing the wheel and that uh, wheel we use for getting from place A to B, that wheel we use as a building block for making something more complex. Those wheels we also use for uh, uh, some of the, the other things, for example, growing crops, for uh, working in factories, even creating art with, uh, with the creation of uh, printing press. And that's what's actually coming, what has been going on and that will continue to be the case. So when, when we talk about AI and general sciences in that respect, sciences have evolved human, humanities and arts to the next level. Their, their algorithms and deep learning system that could create art. And uh, scientists as well as artists have contested that the, the art created by a software machine or artificial intelligence is art. So in that sense, they are both in the same direction. And uh, the second thing to look about here is that a lot of the advances we have made in, the, in this century, especially in the last uh, two to three decades, have been inspired by arts, have been inspired by who we humans are, how we have evolved, how our brain has evolved. Now we are looking at uh, how we could build artificial intelligence that's uh, much more similar to how our brain works. We are looking at uh, systems from a visual perspective that uh, emulates how we perceive and see. We are looking at uh, systems that think more like our brain and that has been going on in the last five years especially and that will continue to be the case.